Hello, middle school band members. Welcome to week two of our online learning format. Um, it's been really nice to reconnect with everybody. I, I do really miss seeing you in class, but it's been really nice to catch up with those you have had a chance to, to chat with and, and reach, reach out to uh, this week. Um, it's great to hear from you again. Uh, those of you I haven't had a chance to talk to yet, expect that I'll be, I'll be keeping reaching out to, to students as we go here. Uh, remember that you can drop by in our uh, office hours, 12.30 to 1.30, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Uh, there's a link available in my Google Classroom. So if you want to drop by office hours, you don't even have to have a question. You can just drop by to say hi. Uh, and of course, that is a time if you're having an issue with a music theory skill in Tone Savvy that you can drop by and I will help you solve that. Um, other things coming up here. Uh, you are going to see as of Monday morning, a new level has popped up for you if you completed your level in Tone Savvy. Um, if you did not complete your level yet, um, you are still going to be in the level that you are working on. I'll give you more time to finish that. Um, if, if you're finishing up the level early in the week, um, use your level up request form and I will jump you to the next level so you can continue on playing. Remember that I'm expecting about 20 minutes of gameplay a day for the middle school level and what you're submitting to the online, sorry, to the tone savvy game using your submit best effort and submit results it should, should reflect that in, in what I'm getting. Um, it's really important that every time you play, uh, when you get done with an exercise, if you are finished because you had either too many errors or you use too many hints, or you need to move on and work on something else, you ran out of time, um, use the stop quiz button and then hit submit best effort. That sends those results back to me um, and then I'm able to use those as I'm making your grades for the week. Um, same thing is true of if you finish an exercise successfully. So if you finish a, an exercise in Tone Savvy successfully, the game should end automatically and you'll be able to hit submit results right there and then I get those. Now, in Google Classroom, there is a video that shows you how to do both of those. Um, now, if you're also wondering on here how I can check my results, there's also a video in Google Classroom. There's a way that you can see everything that you're sending back to me to make sure that the work that you're doing is coming back to me and that I can see everything that you're doing. I, I don't just want to see when you successfully complete an activity. I want to see all the attempts that you're making to get there. I want to see you get better and better and better and better. I want to see the journey that you have to mastering that skill. So share all of that with me. And then that helps me as I'm going through and assessing you for the week. Now, there is a video in Google Classroom that explains, you know, how my grading process is. There's a rubric shared with you that explains, you know, how I'm going to be grading. So uh, the, the benchmark, again, maintains that I'd like to see you complete one level per week. So if you come in a little bit under time on that, that's okay. You're, you're done for the week as long as you complete your one level. Now, um, if you'd like to move on, if you want to keep playing, if you came in under time and you want to uh, go, go ahead and start the next level, that's where the level up request form comes in. And then when I receive that, I will move you up to the next level. And then I'll send you an email letting you know that, okay, you can go back into Tone Savvy. You are all set to continue. Um, now, in the rubric and in the video that explains how we're graded, I also show you that as long as you're spending the amount of time with good focused effort, that I will give you full credit as long as, again, you're spending about that 20 minutes of effort in submitting those results to me. That counts as full credit for me. I'm not going to move you up the level yet because it's really important to me that you master those skills. Now, um, there are a couple other rubric items for partial credit. Um, that, that can be shown if you are putting in some time during the week, but maybe not enough to receive full credit. So as you're checking the grade that I'm putting into Infinite Campus, go back to the rubric and see where I put you on that list. Now, if you feel like you're putting in more time than what the grade is reflecting on Infinite Campus, that's when we need to talk and make sure that everything that you're doing is getting submitted back to me so that I can, I can get, factor that into your grade. That's really important. So check your grade that goes in, check it against the rubric, and then if, if you have questions about that, send me an email, visit me during office hours. I'm here to help. Um, some things that are going to be new this week. Uh, you are going to start to see enrichment activities showing up in addition to the graded portion, which is tone savvy. Now, I'm kind of rolling in my online learning gradually, kind of adding things as we go. Um, so I'm not giving everything at once. And I started week one only with what your grade is based on. So our grade is based on your work in Tone Savvy. 
Now, I know that some of you don't have instruments home, but for, for those that do that want to keep practicing, you're going to see opportunities coming up under enrichment. And these are non-graded activities that you can do um, that are in addition to what we're doing for a grade. So if you're looking to broaden your music experience for the week, that's where enrichment comes into play. You're going to start seeing things that can use your instruments that are involving listening. I've got some games that you're going to start to see showing up there for enrichment. Um, so be on the lookout for enrichment activities, but knowing that the first thing that you should focus on for the week is the graded activity, which is tone savvy. And then enrichment things are things that you can add on top to broaden your experience. If you have questions about the enrichment activities, please email me, visit me during office hours. I'm here to help with that and talk through it with you. Um, again, that, that, that's what I'm here for, and I really do miss hearing from you all, so I would just love to see you in general. Um, again, uh, so this week, you should have a new level in Tone Savvy to start. should be able uh, to see that on Monday. If you don't see that level, if you don't see a level and you think you should be in a new one or the one that you're in is all the way completely done, send me an email, use the Tone Savvy Level Up request form, and I will make sure that that happens as soon as possible for you. So good luck. I hope to see you guys in office hours or to, to talk to you during via email. I really miss seeing you all. Welcome to week two. Game on.